afternoon. Today I'll be painting some roses and other loose florals. This time starting with wet and wet. So I splattered some water just to give everything an extra loose effect. I always start off my roses basically the same way. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I want this one facing down, so more petals on the top, fewer petals on the bottom. So want to get some greenery in here before everything dries up. Hi Nicole. In that middle area I'm going to put a few loose florals using dusty rose. I'm thinking I might add some ink to these afterwards. <clears throat> the best way to learn is just by practicing to find some tutorials and play around. Oh, Sandy, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is really fun to just put some strokes down, get some really loose florals on the page, and then using a little green, you get beautiful compositions. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. I definitely plan on adding a little bit of ink to these dusty rose loose flowers, so an inked center uh, outlining a, a few petals. Thinking maybe 
going to switch to my petals brush and some more delicate leaves. So it's sort of going to be this loose shape here that connects all those pinks. Violet, you're also trying to paint live. Good luck. What do you like to paint? <laughs> Kyle, yes. They're definitely your hollyhocks. We all know that. <laughs> We were all very disappointed that you weren't there live. But of course, glad that you were able to see them. <laughs> the startup of TikTok is the slowest. Yes, Violet. Um, I started this page in February and it did take some time for me to get used to it. <laughs> Actually, today was my first day, Kyle, but it's the teacher day where we just spend all our time on meetings and talking about the things that we have to get done. Um, I'll meet my students on Thursday. So we basically run our school day twice on a shortened schedule. I'll see all my um, sophomores and juniors. I don't have any seniors this year and we go through our whole day and then they get out early and our freshmen come and we go through the whole day again so that they kind of get the school to themselves and figure out where all the teachers are and kind of get the lay of the land, which is really nice. It's really cute that we do that for our freshmen. And then Friday will be a normal day. This one, I think I'm getting close to being done. Oh, I'm in New Jersey. <laughs> I grew up in New Jersey, went to New Jersey schools, even for college, and then for grad school, I went out west. I started teaching out in Oregon and then came back home. <laughs> So this one was actually inspired by a fall. Yes, I'm in New Jersey. A fall one from last year. So I actually did try and not exactly replicate it, but give it an update. I know Cadence yesterday told me that I, I should maybe think about orange for today. She gave me a little guidance and I found out that I had one of these from last year. And I love those pink flowers in the center. <laughs> I do, I, I will put more paintings on Etsy and I'll, I'll show you right now. I found some really good ones that I did last fall um, that I wanna re, I don't know, get inspired by again. And let me show you. 
Nicole, you're out in Tennessee. I had a friend who uh, spent a few weeks there last month. Beautiful place. So this one, very loose, um, beautiful, um, bleeds on that one. I have another rose one. South Jersey, yeah, I'm right across the river from Philly. That's where I am. A few schools around here have their first day today. We got kind of lucky. Um, some other ones that I'm thinking about. Definitely have to do some pumpkins. <laughs> yes, hi, hi, Kyle. Didn't know that we were so close, right? My students picked it up right away because I, I was um, teaching out west and as a chemistry teacher, you say water a lot. So um, they noticed right away where I was from. So it's good to not slow down lessons back in Jersey with that. This one, uh, if you were here yesterday, I um, got inspired by again to do a floral wreath. And I included some mushrooms from this one. Um, let's see, some fall things. Yes. Chrysanthemums, very minimalist version of chrysanthemums. I want to paint this again this year. I'll do this one of these TikTok lives. I'll do this one's got um, a metallic in there from KMS. I think painting fall florals is my favorite thing to do. Um, this one was with the palette from Boulder Colors. I teach chemistry. <clears throat> Let's see some other fall ones. Some very loose florals. I really like the beige colors in this one, sort of dried florals. And thinking about putting this one up on Etsy, I really like that composition. Uh, of course, anything with metallics is pretty too. So, um, if you like any, you can you can let me know um, specific ones, and I can list them on Etsy. I just I have too many to list them all individually. It would cost a fortune for me to put them all up. Um, so, if you want, you can DM me, um, tell me which one. Like, if you saw one, and then I can. Um, go through them with you, basically. That's the quickest, easiest way I can think of. Besides posting every single one to my story and then having you pick out which one you want. I, I read about it. I read into it. I feel like that's not so bad for you guys as the buyer. It's a, kind of a lot of work on my end. I gotta put some paperwork in and stuff to get verified. It's a little tricky on my end as a seller. Um, for me, I have my Etsy account anyway, so it's not too bad. <laughs> right, everybody? Like, I should just make my own website, Kyle, right? With all my spare time as a teacher, I should do that. <laughs> Direct. <laughs> I mean, I, I should be doing some of these um, shops in person here. We've got some nice fairs, but <laughs> you're too funny, everyone. Um, this one, uh, it was a specific Dahlia. I don't even know what color that burgundy is, but it's, I love it. I'm going to try and figure out how to recreate that color um, back when I was doing ink a lot some other ones so get ready to see this fall color palette and lots of roses and, and loose florals with some gold I feel like that's where I'm going to be headed for the next couple of days while I get into my back to school groove um yeah love the colors of fall I 
And then of course, holiday paintings. Um, I've got just two on me right here, but I have to start thinking about that one. Some very loose magnolia, and then just fun foliage and stuff. KMS is Palacios Paints. That gets you 10% off, orders $10 or more. This is painted all with KMS colors. I think that's all I have for you today. <laughs> Time for me to send off my Google Classroom links and things to my supervisors, get a few things taken care of so tomorrow's easier. But what I am going to do is take a few minutes, add some ink to the centers of these florals once I get off the live, and then dive into some work. But I will be painting again tomorrow. It's another teacher day, so more meetings. Um, and then Thursday, Friday, I'll continue painting with, with all of you, <laughs> right? I am happy to be back to teaching. Like I got so many ideas that I wanna do that I didn't do last year and finding so many fun labs, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's enough for today. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you again soon. Kyle, it was great to catch you live. <laughs> and uh, thank you, I, I saw that rose. Thank you very much, Frankie. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, see you again soon. Bye.